Tomorrow in Canada, recreational marijuana becomes legal, but legalization there won't look quite like it could here. Paula Tupman explains the differences and what you need to know if you're planning to cross the border. Paula. So take a look around. This is a cannabis lounge in Windsor. Right now it is used for medical use only, but tomorrow marijuana is legal in Canada. And so it's going to change the entire business model. What's also going to change the business model? Well, so far it looks like Americans hightailing it across the border to join them. Across the river, a whole different country in terms of laws. And tomorrow, recreational use of marijuana is legal. Um, I can show you a volcano. At Higher Limits Cannabis Lounge, three turns from the tunnel, there's already an indication that the Americans are coming. Already over the past six months, we've been having Americans coming through our doors asking to purchase cannabis because they were under the misbelief that it was already legal. Definitely would go across the border. I definitely would go to Canada to smudge just for recreational use of marijuana. It's shown to not be as dangerous as other things like alcohol and that sort of thing. I got if you have one legal but not the other, like why is that the case? But before crossing the borders in hopes of scoring a hit of weed, consider this. The lounge does not sell cannabis. It's more of a safe space for medical use users. It sells bongs, accessories, and the real money is in munchies, but it does not sell weed right now. Canadians get their cannabis from the government. Come tomorrow, legalization day, you're not gonna be able to go into a store in Ontario and purchase it legally. The only way that you're gonna be able to purchase it is from the Ontario Cannabis Store website, and that will be in place until April the 1st. There's provisions in the Federal Cannabis Act that allow for social sharing. So an American could, example, take cannabis from someone on the street level who wants to gift it to them. But in April, the market opens up for retailers. We look here in downtown Windsor at Michigan, Ohio, Indiana and Illinois. And between those four states, there's 7.5 million Americans who identify as cannabis consumers. So if just 1% of those come across on a Friday night, that's still 75,000 Americans that are going to be on our main street here. I'd love the opportunity to roll out the green carpet for them, if you uh, will, proverbially. Paula Tutman, Local 4. All right, Paul, yeah, important distinction. It's just e-commerce for starters. Marijuana retail operations don't open in Canada until April of next year. And of course, you remember voters will be deciding on the merits of legalizing pot for recreational use as proposal number one on the Michigan ballot coming up here in three weeks.